Coming up in the next episode, I'm going to be going over safety for STAR. I plan to have a lot of equipment and technology and other things that are going to need to be heavily monitored. So please definitely make sure you subscribe. Safety and the options that I have are a number one priority. Let's go ahead and start this episode. I think it's safe to say I can eliminate getting my nails done anytime soon. We can just throw that right out the window. I will be replacing this with a one-way privacy film. It will be applied from the inside, which I believe is much safer. And yeah, I'll be able to see out and no one will be able to see inside. Getting a manicure. Oh, hi, birdie. Oh my gosh, this little bird just came. Hi. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Having Star pressure washed was the best decision. They did such an amazing job. I found this honeycomb rubber mat and I decided to use this for the front cab. I just think it's pretty modern and it, and it goes really well. I like the look. I had to move locations because Star was not acceptable in the HOA in my community. So she is at a new location during this project. Okay, well actually you guys are gonna have to wait just a little bit longer to see what I'm doing with these.
This is the very first time I'm ever using a circular saw. And I just want to thank everyone who was watching me do this during the moment. Struggle with trying to cut these boards. <laughs> I only cut six boards. <laughs> it took me so long. And then they're like, you know, an easier way to do this would be to line all the boards up on the back of your truck and cut them at the same time. But this is how I learn, you know? I have to do it and then I know how to do it and then I can always do it, right? So this is basically exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be hands-on just because that's what, I, that's what I'm about, you guys. I love to just create and learn and just do it. <laughs> Due to the construction and the paint and everything that's gonna go into the ambulance build, I decided to remove the green grass uh, carpet on the back lift gate as well as the rose garden fence. That link will be in the description box if you would like to check out how I made that. I really just don't wanna mess it up during the many weeks of this build. I found a cabinet and I'm gonna be using it. It's right there, that brown cabinet. I'm gonna paint it white. That's going to house my toilet. I will be sanding the entire roof and then painting the entire roof with ProFlex Hydra Seal. It's waterproof and just overall add another layer of protection. This is where my putting green and golf tee will go. There will be padding underneath so that you can play putt-putt. Also, uh, that line that you see, the little white line in between the green, is going to be uh, a blue LED river. So we'll have lights up there at night. It'll look really pretty. And the tees that I got from Amazon, I'll include the link in the description. Those will be underneath the green, so just that little stick part will be sticking out. So all that hack sawing I did in the beginning, the lawn chairs I decided to recycle and cut the legs off because they already recline. I'm going to be cutting out uh, the actual seating part that came with the chair and replacing it with the wood. So I basically have my convertible uh, headrest lift that will be bolted down to the ceiling as well as the wood planks for my deck. So it's already pretty much outlined and put together. So that will be a project after I paint. Do you see this? Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. Now it's not finished. Just remember, these episodes are just to keep you all updated along with my build. I'm doing this all myself, okay? This is the custom shower pan that I am building. It's not finished yet, obviously. And uh, I wanna just show you guys what I did. I painted this cabinet and recycled it basically. It's going to house my toilet. Now, it's going to have a door that will swing open with the mirror on the outer part. 
I really wanted to use a lot of mirrors and accents that I really love because number one, it reflects light and it's really going to make the space look so much bigger. Another thing that I was <clears throat> was very important to me about my bathroom was I, I didn't want it to be a closed area. I want it to be a space as part of a living space. So the bathroom is actually going to look like just a pretty beautiful boutique area, a place where I can sit, do my makeup, and um, that's where the water is gonna go underneath there. Let me show you another angle well, since we're passing this. From episode one, the gate that will be at my front door to help keep Panda safe, this is the color that I ended up choosing and it's like a purple, pink, grayish, I don't know, but I like it. This is the color that I ended up choosing. If you did not watch episode one, it will be included at the end of this video so that you can follow along. I'm using a cooling rag around my neck. It's literally like 100 degrees in Florida. It's been so hot, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some other angles here. Notice I did not go all the way up to the ceiling. That is because I will have uh, wood planks and other surprises that will be on my ceiling. I love this uh, cabinet though because I can use it to sit on while I shave my legs. Um, the doors are going to house uh, some cabinets and remember, everything inside the bathroom will be waterproof. So I will be using Flex Seal paint, as well as fiberglass, epoxy, tiles, all kinds of stuff. I'm going all out, so stay tuned. Uh, but I love this because the toilet is going to be for emergencies, so it can be tucked away and I can sit on it to shave. The doors, as I was just saying, um, are gonna house compartments for like costume jewelry, things like that. Um, there'll be inside pockets in the, in the frames as well for lotions and hair products, body splashes, you know, all those wonderful things that women need and men, men need it too. So yes, the bathroom is super important and I want it to just be relaxing, beautiful and functional, more than just a bathroom. My little space, <laughs> everybody's space, whoever's in the ambulance's space, it'll be very inviting. Uh, every detail will be, I can't wait. <laughs> This door I'm showing you right here, this pink thing, this is not gonna be in my build. It's, I'm basically using like whatever I can find to play like Tetris with my build. So I'm gonna have a sliding door. I don't want my bathroom to be closed off. I want it to be open. Now let's go to the back side of the bathroom. Now we're standing on the lift gate. The back side of that wall is going to be right there for, um, hanging wet clothes. Also, it's going to have a fold down outdoor grill. Those little green sticker squares, whatever, those are not gonna stay there. I'm literally just trying to make it look cute. <laughs> I just stuck those on there. I think I got them at like Dollar Tree, but yeah, guys, this is episode two and I'm just trucking the ride along. As always, ending with those inspiration pinterest photos i'll see you next week with luxie star solo female ambulance conversion not only vans bye guys <laughs>